The Augusta was sitting for the first time in 2018. <laughs> Legislators coming back from a two-month recess that began in December last year. But even before it settled down to business, opposition MPs were breathing fire. Led by minority side leadership, the MPs questioned why their security had been withdrawn. Honorable Duale as majority leader is roaming around in town, Mr. Speaker, with four cars, Mr. Speaker, which belong to this parliament, Mr. Speaker. And minority leader of this parliament is, is footing, Mr. Speaker, is on foot, Mr. Speaker. You must remember that NASA people, supporters, also pay tax, which fuel these vehicles, including the ones that you, Duale is using, four of them. That vehicle is fueled. And, and, and maintained by the people who pay tax and other people don't pay lesser tax. A position that was equally bitterly opposed by Jubilee's side, led by Majority Leader Aidan Duale. Tell us which law, which standing order and which regulations. If you don't have, Mr. Speaker, we have important business to deal with. We do not know why the Inspector General of Police has taken those vehicles. He could be investigating the particular members. The events of the afternoon opening to Kenyans what promises to be a divided house following a long-drawn electioneering period last year. Soon, the tempers will cool and the House continued with business of the day. Legislators approved names to the House Business Committee, with MPs exuding confidence that they will expedite pending bills and motions. There's a full entry. We have uh, names of permanent secretaries and uh, ambassadors that we must uh, very fast uh, pass. We had quite a robust session because the members of the NASA were seriously complaining of the withdrawal of the, the security guard. We have our land index bill which is also very important and also there is likelihood of uh, the introduction of the cyber crime bill. We want these five years to be five years of difference and um, also it is very very important to be able to pass the bills that are brought in the house. But while the House adjourned its sittings, NASA coalition sibling rivalry played out again. Once again, the distribution of seats in Parliament. That sharing of positions will be done in consultation with the relevant parties. It is not fair that one political party can decide to unilaterally write to the speaker. Ni kama kukula nyama ikifika kwa tumbo unasema sasa hii nyama ilikuwa ya NASA wacha tena nitafute nyama nyingine ya wiper. This is unacceptable. The opposition had presented the names of Homa Bay woman representative Gladys Wanga, the Higa senator George Haniri and Malindi member of parliament Aisha Jumwa to the powerful parliamentary service commission. It was uncalled for firstly for wiper to purport to be writing the speaker on a matter that is within the limit of the coalition. That the speaker asked the wiper party to either withdraw from the coalition and bring nominees on their own as a party or they are part of the coalition. It is back to business and as MPs take their seats, Speaker of the National Assembly Justin Muturi has read a riot act to the members stating categorical that they must abide by the law and standing orders that govern debates in Parliament. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, Parliament Buildings in Nairobi.